welcome to the lectures of operation research subject in previous lecture we have studied the different uh, subject outcomes what you will be learning the portion distributions uh, the teaching scheme and what could be the outcome uh, once you complete the subject that we have already seen in the previous lecture wherein we have introduced uh, uh, just a brief about different chapters um, and from my portion i will be starting with our first chapter that is replacement theory now we must uh, have idea that uh, what do you mean by replacement because uh, like uh, we are replacing uh, so many items in our daily routine life so we must be able to know what do you mean by replacement and this concept will help you to understand how the replacement can be done to save the cost or with the optimum cost how the replacement can be possible so let us just have a look regarding what you will be learning today first you will be learning its outcome then introduction then why replacement is required and different models of replacement the outcome of this entire chapter is that you will be able to apply this technique uh, in order to replace man machine equipments in order to reduce the operation cost running cost repairing cost uh, and so many other costs so you will be able to apply this concept in the industries in your own household furniture uh, uh, equipments or household items is like suppose that you wanted to replace your bike you wanted to replace your mobile phone you wanted to replace your car or you wanted to replace your any of the gadgets then uh, the, you will uh, you can apply this model to everywhere okay so uh, that is uh, the thing that you will be learning from this chapter now let us have a look at the definition what do you mean by replacements it is a theory uh, in the operation research subject which is used to take decision which helps you to take decision for the process of replacing of a used item with and changing it with the substitutes so you are uh, suppose that you wanted to buy a car so you will be able to know that uh, at what period of time it is better to replace the car with the new one okay the used car with the new one that we will be able to decide from the uh, using this concept okay so the replacement theory in operation research is used to take decision for replacing a used item with the substitutes or mostly we can say it is the new substitute items or the current trends or current scenarios the replacement is necessary uh, for to take the decisions for deteriorating properties or failures or the breakdowns of a particular equipment if an equipment uh, is a uh, uh, breakdown condition is not able to work properly then we must take decision whether we need to repair it or we need to replace it so uh, in the, there must be some uh, two types of question that whether we should repair it or whether it is better or advisable to replace it so with this theory you will be able to take decision out of this whether to repair or whether to replace now we must know what to replace can anybody tell me uh, some ideas regarding what we can re uh, replace using this replacement theory share me some ideas on chat box so that we can, we can discuss it and then i will show you the concept which the theory says prashant says machine vehicles then tools or i could say equipments good any other things that you would like to replace it event wherein we will be applying this theory uh, rohit sadia says bulbs yes we are replacing bulb with leds nowadays tv mobile phones double said yes mobile phones is already there computer okay then share me some innovative ideas so that we can discuss in detail older version to newer version yes ankur but what furniture good one uh, arun sorry 
प्रशांत इज फर्निचर देन डबल सेट बाइक्स टू कार गुड एनी मोर फर्दर फैंस सॉफ्टवेयर नाइस मेन सेट सॉफ्टवेयर कूलिंग सिस्टम सो दिज आर द different very uh, areas which you have said that we can be replaced uh, let us uh, start discussing first yours first one prashant says uh, machine vehicles and tools suppose that if i am using lath machine and i wanted to replace it with the cnc lath machine then i would say it would be an advisable one uh, if i am using uh, uh, one or two students say that uh, vehicles or uh, one student says that a uh, two wheeler to four wheeler so right now with my family such that after 3 to 4 years i would be having my family size of this so i would be thinking in that sense that after two or three years planning i will be selling this bike and then after i will be purchasing the car so you can apply this theory to find out and to find out the optimum uh, time period wherein you can resell it so this theory can help that Rohit said, "Bulbs, yes, bulb uh, can be replaced with uh, used bulb can be replaced with uh, LEDs, which of uh, uh, which uh, consumes less electricity. Uh, if we are having using refrigerator, air conditioner of older version, uh, then it may consume lots of electricity nowadays, and the cost of per unit price of electricity is too much, and it's it 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 is in increasing way way high." so we can think of that rather uh, than paying the higher electricity bill what if if we replace that with the newer version so in which case we can save the more cost we can decide whether to buy for the refrigerator or an air conditioner we can decide on that same way we can decide it for uh, tv mobile phones computers because all these are gadgets and that all these gadgets are deteriorates over time and it consumes higher power uh as the time passes so we we should think in that way that if i am purchasing new right now then will i save the electricity bill or not and whether uh, i uh, the saved electricity bill will be overcome by the existing or capital cost of the refrigerator so i would be comparing that and then i would be taking the decisions uh, to which we have to opt for then uh, one student said that furniture yes furniture could be there furniture we, we are we can replace furniture at 7 to 10 years of span so we can think of that whether to repair the existing furniture that we have and spend some amount to the carpenter or we should buy new furniture which again uh, survives 7 to 10 years so we can decide on that uh, we are replacing newer fans with the older one because older fan can use lots of power and electricity same way software cooling system aerospace yes uh, nitin said aerospace aerospace in that space i would say uh, we recently bought uh, the aeroplanes in our indian air force system and we are replacing the older version let, let us say uh, mig 21 so we are replacing mig 21 with this uh, like a steel or a <coughs> the recent purchased air carriers and all so that is how we can decide that mig 21 can survive or can be can help us win the war or not if it is not then we must replace it so that our objective function of winning the war can be set so we are uh, removing the or we are replacing the older technologies by adopting the newer that is a good example aerospace nitin then bulb to led that we already discussed okay let me see so these are the uh, no clothes cannot be there because clothes is not having any maintenance for the etc so we should not thinking in clothes okay uh, let us have a look at our examples uh, what to replace the major is men we are replacing men's because sometimes we have seen right uh, or if we see the current scenario many of the firms are uh, removing the pers their personals okay you might have heard uh, tcs have left uh, so and so persons 
Wipro has left so and so person. So these are the current scenarios wherein we are living in. So we must give output so that every person who are working in a firm must have to generate certain desired outcomes so that the person who owns the business can spend some profit to the as a, as a part of salary. So uh, sometimes if the worker is not able to produce much good, then we are we have to replace it. Okay. And if I'm having like the I'm having current job scenario is for 10 uh, positions and if I hire 20 positions then after certain period of time or once the job is over then I must left out the 10 person otherwise I won't be able to survive my own business. So we have, uh, we, have we can replace the man. Man then machine. The next is machine. If the machine gets older if the machine gets older we have to replace it sometimes the machine can uh, can be at, uh, can be under maintenance so the machine under maintenance cannot produce any goods so we should think on that and, and if sometimes the maintenance course is such that uh, it would be better or it would be advisable to purchase new machine as compared to the repairing of the existing ones and sometimes if the current scenario is such that uh, we need some uh, manufacturing facilities then we are replacing older machine with the existing or newer technology so so far we have seen two example one is man second is machine now the next is third is <coughs> equipments uh, we are having different equipments like uh, grinding machine uh, drilling machine and all these smaller equipments uh, that uh, if they needs repairment which cost again is beyond the repair um, purchase one then we have to purchase new one rather than repairing okay so that is man machine equipment and the third is uh, we can say um, if it is a group replacement then we can say replacement of exist uh, older bulbs with the newer ones to consume less electricity so that we can save electricity portion so these are the things that we normally replace uh, in other word if i would like to say replacement could be of bike that you already discussed replacement of vehicle replacement of furniture replacement of uh, like knee joint hip joint the, the doctors are working on that right now, nowadays that is the that certain uh, body joints are deteriorating by uh, 60 70 80 percent mostly what they are recommending they recommend it to replace these body joints uh, after it deteriorates or it after it's operating at a 50 or 60 percent other than we have to bear certain pain and we, we have to deal with it so um, this replacement can be done in that area also replacement of joint okay now when to replace can anybody share some ideas that at what time you would prefer to replace the bike, you would re uh, prefer to replace the your vehicle, furniture, maybe mobile phone, computer. So how do you think to replace or when do you, when it is the best time to replace? Can anyone share three to four ideas at least please put that on the chat box. Prashant said company specified time during purchase. I didn't get the meaning. Can you elaborate it a bit, Prashant? If efficiency getting less, we need to replace. Okay, let me do one more thing for you. Uh, I will allow you to unmute yourself so that you can answer it. So those who want to answer it, unmute, click on unmute and we can discuss it one by one let us start with the prashan then hers hello prashan you can unmute yourself and you can discuss Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Good. Sir, as I uh, previously mentioned uh, in the message, 
ઓકેવર they are specifying that it survives so and so period of time so we should be thinking it that sense of after the usage of this we will be use we will be sending it to uh, resell or a scrap so that is how we can decide suppose that i want i i had purchased a bike then i have set a certain value that after 5 years or 10 years of usage of bike it, uh, i will be scrapping it or i will not be using it as after several years it uh, the efficiency of that machine or a device is deteriorating and it consume more, more more fuel suppose if we talk about bike then it consume high petrol or a diesel as compared when it was newer one so we can think of in that sense and, um, and many of the time you have heard that uh, that uh, your bike is uh, giving lesser average bike is giving lesser average so uh, in, uh, in um, like we have to change the Uh, that uh, older facility with the newer facility okay now harsh your turn what do you want to suggest just unmute your mic who wanted to answer if the one student answering it other will not disturb it then we will be discussing it and giving chances to the other yes to less unmute yourself and discuss okay sir hello yes sir after running the vehicle at required kilometers means 1 lakh or 1.5 lakh okay. we can uh, replace that is the right time to replace yes that is the right time see uh, if you have uh, heard uh, from the while purchasing a car or a bikes they are specifying it in terms of kilometer and that kilometer is ranging to engine only so if i say uh, if i have purchased the petrol car mostly what people are saying that the either car should be sell at 5 to 7 years or the car should be sell at after 1 lakh kilometer otherwise after 90 to 90000 to 1 lakh kilometer after that period of time uh, the engine consume more maintenance so rather than paying it maintenance we should be buying the new one so in that sense am i right harsh that is what you are trying to say yes sir yeah now next is tulas tulas unmute yourself and discuss good afternoon sir good afternoon sir i think when uh, some uh, new product comes in uh, market with new updation we can uh, replace it uh, with the uh, older one to get more uh, efficient or more accurate work exactly suppose that if i am i am i purchased a, a lath machine 10 years ago and right now i am having cnc lath machine which completely operates automatically yes okay. sir so in that sense we can say that uh, replacing of the older technologies with the existing would be the better option okay yes sir which may not uh, uh, depend on efficiency of older one but uh, yes. it uh, it will give a uh, good uh, uh, products or uh, more products and it, it it can increase the productivity as well as the yeah, productivity yeah yeah, yeah. Productivity product. Product. okay good one good opinion plus anyone wants to have share anything otherwise i will be showing my idea so uh, let me share up the example of full uh, tool of a lath machine okay sometimes if we are working we might have observed that the lath machine tool or any tools which is not cutting properly it might be due to that the tool has already been worn out so we must know that when to replace the tool okay if, if we are not able to replace the tool on time it might damage the workpiece uh, as well as it might damage the machine so we can think on that okay so and second is a uh, complete failure okay so this could be the first example could be of uh, preventive 
but the, this could be of sudden failure if my machine is operating on a particular time period but it suddenly it operate it fails so at that moment of time we must replace it because it totally broken out so we have to replace in case of sudden failure so that is what the second category that we have to see so then next is less effective now that we have discussed and few of the you guys have discussed that when a bike is giving less average then we can say it is less effective so that is what is the reason to replace the next is uh, it is useless due to sudden failure that you are seeing on the second uh, animation that sudden failure or deterioration will not able to give any output so you have to you have no chance to repair you just have to replace it the next is failure okay uh, sometimes the failure can be gradual and sometimes failure can be uh, sudden so here we are talking about gradual failure every machine uh, operates which op which is in operation fails gradually the next is breakdown when the machine starts giving um, so many breakdowns at that at that moment we must think of replacing rather than keep on repairing so this is the time period where we prefer to replace the machine and the last one is material fails due to passage of time uh, uh, if we know that there are certain materials uh, or the machines which operates on a cycle time that after certain period of time we must have to replace this so it should not it should be done on a particular time period Okay. Now, why replacement is required? The replacement is required first, whether to wait for the certain item to fail or whether we need to replace it. So, it may be necessary to decide whether to wait for certain items to fail. So, to that we can call a preventive action. So, whether to wait for a certain times to fail. to which uh, it may cause some loss or to replace in earlier at the expense of higher cost of them suppose that uh, if uh, the machine is uh, working since 5 to 6 years and the uh, the manufacturer said that it may survive 7 to 8 years so uh, after 5 years uh, you might uh, you might seeing that uh, the machine is being uh, giving or start machine just start giving some breakdowns so at that moment of time you must think that how much time am i am uh, wasting because of this breakdown how much amount i am spending for maintenance so if uh, that amount and the time of the uh, delay or breakdown time is higher then we must think of replacement rather than of repair so it may be necessary to decide whether to wait for a certain items to fail to which it may cause some loss or replace either at the expense or higher cost of the item okay next is uh, because of new development like um, uh, if you have said that we have to replace the old technologies by the existing one and for that i, I had given the example of <coughs> replacing latch machine with the cnc machines Uh, then other examples i would like to say that uh, previously we were having uh, this type of halogen fans which consume a tremendous amount of electricity then the era comes wherein what we did we introduced some cfl fans so cfl fans were the better version of the halogen fan at that time but nowadays uh, we have to replace cfl fan with led sorry cfl uh, lights with led lights so that uh, the energy saving can be 40 to 50 percentage as compared to cfl so and uh, like now uh, we are thinking of energy saver options and for that it is advisable to pay a little bit higher amount in led than that of the cfl because cfl can cost less but it is uh, energy conservation device and um, led is the uh, current version of the light emitting systems wherein we consume very very less amount of energy but the again the costing of the led would be higher so we have to find out a point wherein we can replace 
CFL with respect to the LED. Uh, and one more student said that halogen generates unwanted heat. Yes, tremendous amount of heat was generated by halogen fans, but LED is user friendly. But still, there is one drawback in LED is that uh, the light which omit emitted by LED is not safer to the eyes. So we must find out the better way of having that light. The next is current equipment has deteriorated on accounts of its longer use over the time. There are certain machinery equipments which working on like 20, 30 years. So the current equipment has deteriorated on account of its long over usage over time. Uh, that is what 20 years usage of time. So the machine uh, is mostly on a deteriorate phase. And such does not function effectively. Obviously, it was not working properly as we are working with you using 20, 40 years. So in other words, it requires expensive maintenance. This is called a regular failures. So uh, these are the cases uh, that we have to consider while replacement. And the last one is replacement theory concerns the prediction of replacement cost and determination of the uh, optimum or economic replacement policy. We have uh, the entire chapter works on that such that we have to find out economic that is a cheaper one or we can say optimum replacement policy. Okay, so it is not like that if I if we take the case of this halogen bulb with replacement of CFL or CFL with the replacement of LED. It, it should not be like that if I, I just came to know that the LED is uh, consumes less power than CFL, then I should be changing it right now. Okay, it's, it, this uh, example belongs to group replacement. Let us say the case of Ra entire Rajkot CG uh, bulbs of CFL bulbs is to be replaced by LED. Then we have to plan it according such that our investment and our financial planning does not disturb. So we have to again think in that manner also. Now, the next is advantages. These are the advantages that we will be having. It will save the money if we are uh, comparing it for the longer run that we will be observing during the example. Then uh, we can prevent production delay due to breakdowns. If we are using the older machines on and on and on, then uh, that older machine uh, gives uh, the larger breakdown and larger breakdown consumes large time, high amount of time it consumes. So we can save the breakdown time if we, uh, on time if we replace the machine on time then uh, it provides an assistance to upgrade the technology when to upgrade the technology it is not like that, that on daily basis we are changing with the upgrade uh, we are upgrading with the technology but it gives the perfect time wherein it is advisable to upgrade with the upgrading the technology then <laughs> it helps to sustain in the competitive market that is what the replacement because uh, it finds out the optimum or economic cost wherein we need to replace. It is not like that all of a sudden we are replacing all the uh, equipments and buying the new one because it's add on burden to the finance. Okay, so these are the advantages of the replacement theory. Uh, these are the modes of the uh, replacement problems. Uh, the mechanism. This mechanism uh, is broadly classi classified in two uh, categories. One is gradual failure, and second is sudden failure. Gradual failures mean it uh, fails gradually. Uh, if we are if you purchase the machine nowadays, then the machine will deteriorate over time. So it is like a we can call it a failure which does uh, failure which can occur very slowly and we can call it like it is a progressive uh, in nature the life of the item increases its operating efficiency decrease as the li as the life of the item increases uh, its operational efficiency becomes lesser let us say if i'm producing 10 parts or 20 parts per day and after 10 years usage of time, I might be able, I might not be able to uh, manufacture uh, that much amount of part which I'm producing right now. So in that sense, we can say that the life of the item increases 
but its operational efficiency decreases. If we talk about IC engine, it gives you an average of 40, 60 kilometers per liter. Then after 10 years usage of time, it might not be able to give you that. This leads to increase in operating cost and decrease the output. Okay. So that is what the gradual failure means. The next is sudden failure. In this type of failure, it occurs uh, after certain period of service usage. Uh, then deterioration will be there in service. This period of giving is desired service is not constant, but following some frequency distributions, which will be progressive, retrogressive, and the random failure. So sudden failure can be broadly classified again into three categories. One is progressive, second is retrogressive, and the third is random failure. Progressive means that if the probability of failure increase with the increase in the life, then the failure is said to be progressive. Let me repeat it one more time. If the probability of failure increases with increases in its life, then the failure is said to be progressive, which simply means that uh, this type of failure uh, occurs in a long run. So if I purchased a machine right now, after 10 years, it will deteriorate its operations year by year. So after, after one or after second year, first or second year, it may, uh, it may deteriorate by this percentage. After four to five years of this, the, the percentage will little bit grazing year by year. So that is what progressive failure. Uh, if we talk about any machines, that every machines could be the part of progressive failure because every machine's operating tendency is getting reduced as the year passes. The next is retrogressive uh, failure. Retrogressive failure means the probability of failure in the beginning of the life of an item is more. So it fails, uh, but there are uh, higher chances of uh, failuring of that particular part in the beginning of the purchase would be higher due to changing uh, is more and due to change in time, the chances of failure decreases and with increasing time, uh, if it works properly, it may survive a little bit longer. And for that type, I would give that Chinese products are the best example for this retrogressive. Okay. Uh, and let me give, uh, or we can say user through type of product. If we are uh, purchasing a Chinese CNC machines, they are, they are giving you the uh, <coughs> warranty of three years, which is supposed to be mean that after three years. Hello. Ready? Let me revise it a bit. Uh, mechanism can uh, uh, replacement mechanism is of broadly classified in two types. One is gradual failure, and the other is sudden failure. Gradual failure is a progressive in nature. That is, as the life of the item increases, its operational efficiency decreases. It's supposed to be mean that if I purchase the machine right now, its efficiency will be decreasing as the year passes then it leads to increase the operation cost and decreases the output. Also, it decreases the value of the equipment and the salvage that is the scrap value. So if I purchase the machine right now, obviously after 10 years usage of time, uh, the scrap wood would be less as compared to this. Next uh, is sudden failure. Sudden failure, this type of failure occurs after certain period of usage rather than deteriorating while in service. So this type of failure is uh, essential to learn because uh, uh, we are dealing with machine and there is no specific to predictability for any machine to be work. Yes, we can based on the uh, standards, we can say that it may survive, but it, it is not necessary that after that much period of time, it will break or it may not fail in earlier stages. It can fail even after just purchase. So, but we have to give this sudden failure, we are dividing it into three categories. First is progressive, second is retrogressive, and the third is random. As sudden failure can be happened any of such time, 
let us start with the first progressive progressive failure means if the probability of failure increases with increase in its life then the failure is said to be progressive if i would say i just purchased a lathe machine right now uh, it starts deteriorating itself after as the year passes in second example retrogressive if the probability of failure in the beginning of the life of an object is more and due to change in time the chances of failure decreases then the failure is said to be retrogressive unlike to be progressive in progressive the failure is going on and on but in retrogressive uh, the chances or probability of failure in the earlier stages are a little bit higher if it crosses then it may be okay okay so that is what retrogress if i say the example of chinese product then it would be the best fit for the retrogressive product okay as the design are based on retrogressive now if i if i have purchased any chinese product what is our thinking our thinking is such that if it can survive one year two year or three year then i have what i have invested would be return so uh, we have achieved break even points so we are not in no profit no loss so it is fine if we can scrap it so that is what the nature of retrogressive type of replacement could be there so in earlier changes their chances are higher but after certain usage whatever chances that is a preventing measure then next is random uh, it is the constant uh, probability of failure associated with items that fail from random cause like physical shocks not related to age okay so progressive and retrogressive both are related to it in progressive the age span age span would be larger in retrogressive the age span in the beginning would be shorter but in random case it is independent of the age which means that the failure can occur at any spot of time so if i purchased any machine right now it may fail due to some electrical breakdown or maybe some mechanical breakdown on the next day so that is what the random failure is so these are the different types of uh, modes by which we will be learning this replacement theory or mechanism uh, then you must know there are two different types of cost that we have to use one is depreciation depreciation means the reduction in the capital cost if i invested 1 lakh rupees of a machine the next year it could be 90000 after that it could be um, 80000 so like in that pattern the depreciation could be count so that is what the depreciation cost is then maintenance cost it is the amount of money that we spent to repair or to maintain the machine in complete working condition that is what the maintenance cost is now after that uh, there are different four types of model that we have to learn among them first is model 1 which is aging of machines aging of machine means that uh, after, as the time passes as the time passes the running cost or maintenance cost gets higher so if i am i have to invest uh, 1000 rupees to my existing machine for as a part of running or a maintenance cost to make to work machine on tact i am spending 1000 rupees next year it might be 1500 or 2000 after as so as the year passes uh, the investment cost on running or maintenance cost that uh, it goes on increasing more that you can see on the graph with the orange line now uh, if i purchase the machine at a particular time then after one usage of time its scrap scrap value would be let's say if the machine cost would be 1 uh, lakh rupees the scrap cost would be 50000 after one year after a second year it might be 40000 then uh, after a certain period of time we can say that the cost wing would be 10000 after 4 to 5 years of usage of 1 lakh rupees of capital or investment cost so how this model helps and this model is believes that items that deteriorate with time such as machine tools vehicles equipments building etc so for that total cost would be how much total cost would be the capital cost 
so at this point at particular this time the capital cost would be this capital cost would be this and at that time maintenance cost would be this okay so if i have to um, find out the total cost so the total cost plus maintenance cost and repairing cost minus its scrap value so this will be minus from this and after that if we find out that total cost would be this much at this particular moment of time after a certain period of time the uh, this total cost with respect to time would be uh, this much okay after a certain period of time it is this much so if you can observe so if i am uh, using the machine for more many number of usages which means it's supposed to be mean that the total cost per year to which we can call an average cost which is total cost per year is is kept on increasing as we are utilizing machine for prolonged time now after certain period of time what we have seen that the graph changes its slope now what does that mean that simply means that my maintenance or repairing cost would be higher so i am spending too much amount of money in order to run a machine on tech for which i have to spend lot of amount for maintenance cost and the running cost i have to invest a lot of amount in that so that path kept on increasing and which ultimately in the result it it shows that the graph is on again inclining stage as its scrap value is getting uh, decreasing year by year and maintenance and running or repairing cost is getting higher and higher okay so uh, if we have observed that we have to find out a particular time wherein the graph changes its slope so it is the time period when you have to switch over for the replacement okay it is a perfect time when you need to opt for the replacement okay so any doubt within this first mode which is aging of machine aging is nothing but meaning age age which is the number of years of a user of machines any doubt within this mode okay now let us have a look at the second mode second mode says is availability of similar new machines with better usages again we can use the same example that we have used so many times replacement of lathe machine by cnc machines to increase the accuracy to increase the continuation of the job and to increase the productivity of the workplace so uh, sometimes uh, the items are becoming out of date due to new developments like ordinary waving loops by automatic uh, fully automatic uh, looms manual accounting by some softwares so previously we were using some paperwork and doing all this thing but nowadays we are having softwares which runs the calculation very faster so we are replacing that technologies with the newer one here you can see that the left machine gives the same output as compared to the cnc machine but in case of cnc machine we can say that productivity can be increased we can uh, find out the similar we can find out the machining time we can find out uh, the number of jobs that can be made on in the in the prior stage and we can increase the development of the entire product in lesser amount of time so that we can set it so that is what the second model of wherein we are uh, replacing the older machines which is lathe machines or any sort of machines with the existing automatic machines where in less human interface is there so that is the second mode of replacement now the third mode that is time value of machine considers um in which we will be considering depreciation of machine depreciation of money or a present worth factor do you know what is the current uh, price of a petrol can anybody tell uh, tell the details about the current price of petrol or you can give me a the range of within this week how much you have to pay if you wanted to purchase yes it is a 78 rupees per liter okay around 82 in jamnagar 
in Rajkot. Okay, so we can call it. Let us we can set an average eighty rupees liter. Suppose that I wanted to buy a petrol at eighty thousand rupees per liter. Now, do you think that after uh, one year or after five years, the petrol price would be the same? Obviously not. Why? Because right now the eighty rupees is having certain value, but after after a certain period of time, we can see that the uh, the petrol will not be worth of rupees eighty rupees because the time base, the value of anything or x y z will be changing. Okay, we are not talking about petrol prices per day, but what we are talking about the uh, value of that rupees. Value of eighty rupees. Right now, the value of eighty rupees is one liter petrol. But after five to ten years, that value would be like eighty rupees would be equivalent to half liter. Are you getting? So depreciation of money. If we are, uh, if we talk about your, if we talk about your parents, your parents might be purchasing forty fifty rupees petrol. But uh, since the generation change and the time passes. Your your generation is spending almost double amount because yes, it is a mongwari. Yes, and to which we can call <coughs> the extra expenses and the uh, present work factor. So, if you are purchasing any plot right now, if you are purchasing any land right now, it uh, the cost may increase after ten years of span. So that is in increasing order, and in the other term, sometimes it may be decreasing in order. So if We have to find out the present work factor. If I am spending one lakh rupees of machine on a, a particular machine, then and at current moment, if I scrap down the machine, then I will be getting only ten thousand. But right now, if I purchase one lakh rupees of a bike or a machine, if I am spending it on the next year, I would I, I would be getting only ten thousand rupees. Okay, so we must find out that if I if I will replace this machine which i have at present i have bought at a at a 1 lakh rupees if i will be selling it after 10 years okay what would be the present worth after 10 years which is 10000 right now atyare to 10000 rupees je che e 10 varsh pachi e 10000 rupees ne su value hoyse based on that i should be calculating the replacement model i hope that i am communicating clear so that is what the depreciation of money then items which deteriorate with time every machine man and elements deteriorate with time okay and the depreciation of money is considered it must be considered for the calculation okay so that is what the mode number 3 after that the last mode which is mode 4 for the replacement which is group replacement items which do not deteriorate but fail completely after certain amount of usage like electric parts lamps street lights uh, if you purchase a, uh, a cfl bulb they might give you one uh, one year of replacement warranty are you getting it or not so this is one of the best example that you can learn to understand the replacement so company is spending the spending the amount such that uh, if they are getting 10 percentage of the, the replacement will it affect the existing amount of, of existing pricing of the cf bulb cfl bulb to which they are charging for so it is the item which do not deteriorate but fail completely after certain period of time suppose at rajkot municipal corporation or jamnagar or junagar or ahmedabad municipal corporations are thinking to replace their street lights okay with uh, led lights from the cfl so they have to find out the charts that how much uh, these are the amount that we have spent on cfl and after 3 years of span that cfl supposed to be uh, uh, go to the scrap okay and that does uh, that scrap does not get you anything to the rmc or amc or jmc so in that case what they have to think they have to replace it if there are certain cases wherein if they change it after 2 year they if they change it after 2 year uh, rather than replacing the uh, the bulbs which are not in service that group replacement can save the larger amount of cost as compared to replacing it the single or 
triple or single number all like multiple number or selected numbers of uh, pieces okay because in uh, in that sort quantity the rate of the rate would be different but in group replacement since the quantity is larger the amount that to which they are charging would be lesser so sometimes we, if we compare both the cases then the group replacement would be feasible as compared to the uh, singular replacement so that is what again the mode 4 which is of group replacement so that's it from my side for today's sessions uh, if you have any questions you can put that on chat box if you wanted to discuss you can unmute yourself so that's it from my side have a nice day